Having a clutter-free home makes it easy to relax and allows you to focus more on the things that matter. There are two types of visual clutter. Stacks of paper on the table and piles of clothes are common example of visible clutter. Messy cables, closet, and pantry are clutter that we often ignore since they are often not in plain sight. There are also essential and non-essential items. Toilet paper, brush, bin, and soap are examples of things that are necessary. This video will focus on keeping a clutter-free home without disposing of the essentials. You can check out some of my other videos on how I declutter my kitchen, bedroom, and closet. There are 8 simple ways to reduce visual clutter in your home. It is important to make sure everything has its own place. Placing things back in its place takes the same amount of effort as dumping it randomly. Doing this will not only prevent missing items and scrambling for something, but also keep an organized home more of a habit rather than a chore. Don't forget your fridge, pantry, and closet. It is just as important as the rest of the house. Use boxes and baskets to gather things in one place and create the idea that they were meant to be there. In order to reduce visual clutter, opt for one of these three types of boxes or baskets. Clear basket. This will allow you to keep things organized while being able to see what's inside. Ideally great for pantry or closet organization. White or light colored basket. This will generally go in any environment without being a distraction. A good option for storage, laundry, and cleaning supplies. Natural baskets. Made of natural materials such as wood, bamboo, cotton, or linen, which adds warmth and visual interest. This is a great option for storage that will be kept visible as it can double as a decor piece. Also consider the things you bring daily and make a place to drop your things as soon as you get home. This can be things like umbrellas, keys, shoes, wallets, and bags. Utilize hangers, bench, shoebox, or baskets as a place for these items. Doing this will not only help avoid clutter, but also avoid the morning rush looking for something. Keeping your table and countertop clear is the easiest step to instantly reduce clutter in your home. Store away things that you don't need instant access to. For me personally, this includes things like pens and notebooks, which I kept in an under desk drawer. In the kitchen, I kept the island empty with only the essentials. Everything else is kept out of sight. One important thing is to be mindful of your needs and lifestyle. Since I use both Scale and Blender daily, I keep them in a designated place with easy access. Sauces are kept in the cabinet on a turntable and shopping bags tucked under the shelf. This way, you can keep the surface tidy without sacrificing efficiency. Trays are a great way to group small items together while being accessible. Keys and wallets are a great example of everyday items that are commonly placed on a tray. The same things placed on a tray will also look less cluttered and more intentional than without a tray. You can further expand this idea by using racks to display frequently used spices. Trays can also serve as a place to group your decor together. Use the rule of three when arranging items as it is proven to be more visually appealing to the human eye. Food and snack packaging often comes in various shapes and colors with pictures and tags all over the place, which can be really distracting. Storing them in a container will help reduce clutter by giving your pantry a uniform look. Further, a transparent container will also increase visibility and help reduce waste as things are no longer hidden out of sight. Do the same thing for sauces and dressings by using squeeze bottles. Don't forget to label them, but try to stick to a minimal design. Stick to a maximum of 3 to 5 colors within a room. This doesn't mean it has to be boring. A more playful pastel color can also look clean and minimal. If in doubt, stick with neutrals as your primary color and include pops of accent color throughout your home to add warmth and personality. Greeneries and colors from natural materials are a great way to make a calm environment. 
One thing to watch out for is loud prints and patterns. Keep it to a minimum with simple prints and stripes to avoid making the place look busy. The same rule applies on things that are essential to a home. You can either hide your bin or purchase a nicer looking bin that goes with the rest of the space. Consider using a soap dispenser or purchase soap with a pet pack bottle. Hide your cleaning supplies where possible, if not, stick to neutral colors that match the rest of the space. Cables are inevitable but can be extremely distracting. There are many creative ways to keep cable out of sight. Hiding them inside a drawer, under a furniture, and using a cable box are simple ways to avoid seeing them. Use cable trunks and raceway under your desk to avoid hanging cables becoming an eyesore. Nothing is worse than seeing dirty clothes in places where they shouldn't be. Get a laundry hamper and avoid leaving dirty clothes all over the place. A basket is also great to gather clean laundry in one place. Organize your clothes into categories to make getting ready in the morning a more pleasant experience. You can use the KonMari method to save space while being able to see everything at a glance. Check out my video on closet organization to get some inspiration on a budget. Similar concept to decanting, remove the packaging of common household items if you plan to stock up on some. You can also hide them in a box, which is what I did with my tissue. Those are the 8 simple things you can do to maintain a clutter-free home. Make it a habit to return things to where it belongs, and keeping your home organized will no longer feel like a chore. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.